Hey, what's going on? I'm about to show you all how to fix uh, the endless loop with Army Ignited. This is for, uh, I'm an active duty soldier, and I just went through an issue. I've been going through it for almost over a year, trying to request TA. And um, I talked to the helpline and got it squared away in five minutes. So this is for anybody who's stuck in an endless loop uh, that's an active soldier. I don't know if it uh, applies to anyone else, but an active soldier and cannot apply for TA because they're stuck in an endless loop uh, with Army Ignited. First, what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your uh, login.gov account. And the issue lies with your email. If you have a, a, a personal email connected to your CAC, you need to uh, you need to unconnect it. So if you have your, what happened with me was I had my personal email. That's what I signed up with it for. But I also connected my CAC to my personal email, then my military email, and it was uh, I was having issues. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, you you should have two email addresses right here, or just your personal one. It's not gonna work with your personal one. But what you're gonna do is, for me, I had to delete my military ID, well my military email. Then you're gonna uh, once you do that, you're gonna come down to, uh, hold on, you're just gonna click over here, authentication methods, and you're gonna scroll down to your federal employee ID. You're gonna delete that as well, and then once you do that, you're gonna sign out. You're gonna sign out. You're gonna create a new account, and this time. You're going to enter your military ID. You're going to enter your military ID. Hit English. Uh, click I read and accept. You know, submit. And it's going to bring you. Hold on. I need, let me log back in real quick. Because you're going to go. You're going to get right back in here. And you're going to go back to in, uh, authentication. Authentication methods. Your email address that you signed up with should be your military ID. Make sure it's your military email. That's the only email that needs to be connected to it. Go back to authentication methods. Go to your federal ID, add your CAC, um, name it. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go over to your military uh, email. And you're going to get this email right here. It's going to say confirm your email. You can't click on links in your email, so you're going to... Uh, you're gonna copy and paste this in your into your search bar. Confirm your email. Then that's it. Once you confirm your email, uh, go back to Army Ignited, and when you hit Get Started this time, you know, go through everything. You're gonna sign in. Mine signs in automatically, but you're gonna get this view. This is the view you've been dying to get if you've been going through the endless loop. And uh, that's the fix for it. The, uh, I'm going to have the uh, instructions also in the, uh, in the description of this video. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment and I'll uh, try to square you away. But um, hopefully you get your TA, you know what I'm saying, and get on this education path and, you know, further your career. But all right now, take care.